Hi guys, so today I'm going to be doing a talk through tutorial on this look that I have on my face right now and I think it will be great for New Year's or any special occasions so if you want to know how I did this then keep on watching. Prime my face today I'm going to use the Maybelline Master Prime Blur and Smooth Primer and I'm mostly going to focus that along the T-zone just or like where my pores are an issue mostly around my nose. And then on my forehead and on my chin. And then for the rest of my face, I'm going to prime using I want to use I don't know. I'll use my max strobe cream. This is like a tiny itty bitty baby sample size that they did like samples one time, I don't, I don't know. I'm gonna take that, put that on my, like, cheeks. And then I'm gonna prime one more time because, you know, I'm getting into primers. Under my eyes I'm using the e.l.f. Hydrating Under Eye Primer. Take a little bit and put it under my eyes. And now I'm going to spray my face using the Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. Um, for my foundation, I'm going to be using the Bourjois Healthy Mix Foundation. I haven't used this in a while because I've really been liking my e.l.f. acne fighting foundation, um, but I love this foundation. It's a little too dark for me, so I'm going to mix it with the CoverFX Custom Cover Drops, and these are in the shade N10. Put it all over my face. I feel like, I don't know, my lighting is weird. It's like super bright, and that may be a problem. But once I edit this and look at the footage, I'll know what to change. To blend it out, I'm going to be using this e.l.f. foundation brush. This is one of my favorite lip balms. I like the Hurrah. Wow, you cannot see. Hurrah. Oh my gosh, these lights are crazy. Hurrah. And this is in vanilla. I have like five of them. I like the coconut one a lot. And the chai tea one smells good too. So for any blemishes, I'm going to be using the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I've been using this in like all my videos because I love this concealer. It's just the baby one because I wanted to try it out. But this is like... I've never had a concealer match me as well as this one does. This is in the color Light 2 Vanilla. And then under my eyes, I'm going to put the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer in Fair Neutral. But now I'm going to blend in my concealer with the same brush that I use to blend in my foundation. For my under eyes, right after I blend it in, I have to set it and bake with a, like a really fine powder because my concealer always creases like super easy. Yeah, so right after I blend this in, I'm gonna quickly put, ooh, I'm gonna quickly put the powder under my eyes. So you know I gotta hurry. I have no idea why concealer crease is like so easy on me. I think it's because I have like these weird wrinkles underneath my eyes. <laughs> I 
And then to powder the rest of my face, I just kind of take a little bit on the powder puff and like just pat it on. So while my face is doing this, I am going to do my eyebrows and I will do them off camera because they take a while and I can film a separate brow routine if, if it matters. So my eyebrows are done and now I'm going to just dust off this powder with a powder brush. Okay, so I already primed my eyes using the Balm's Put a Lid On an Eye Primer. And um, for my first eyeshadow that I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be taking from the Anastasia Self Made palette, I'm going to be taking the color called Blush, putting that all through my crease and into the inner crease as well. And just really getting that in there. From the same palette, I'm going to be taking this color called Hot Chocolate and just a crease brush. And what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be taking a very light hand because this is very pigmented. So I'm going to put this in the inner corner. Or this is the outer corner. And put it in the outer corner and the inner corner and create kind of like oh well I'm gonna be doing a halo eye so if that helps you at all um, I'm gonna just build up the color a lot right here in the outer corner and ooh, in the inner corner right here And then just blend it through the middle to connect them. Yes, I messed up right here. Got a little right there. And then I'm gonna drag a little bit of that color onto my bottom lash line. You're just gonna take a fluffy brush that's just clean and blend this out. I'm gonna be taking the color treasure from the same palette just a shimmery champagne color and i'm going to be putting that in the inner corner and on the brow bone i know a lot of people don't really like a shimmery brow bone you don't have to do a shimmery brow bone if you don't feel comfortable with it but i really like how it looks okay so after i do that i'm going to be taking this MAC pigment in the shade Rose, and it's just kind of like a pinkish, it's a pink pigment with like a gold reflect to it. I don't know if you can, if it's picking up well. Yeah, there. It's a really pretty pigment. And I'm just going to be taking that and putting that on this, um, light spot. I'm going to be taking just a small little brush and spraying it with some Fix Plus. Um, but after that I'm going to be taking um, the Lit Glitter in the color Tangy Taffy and it's a pink glitter and it's got a gold reflect to it. It kind of, it's brighter than the rose pigment. Oh, I dropped some! <laughs> but that's what it looks like. It's really pretty and I'm going to be taking the lit adhesive as well on this tiny little brush. But I think I want to put a little bit of it right, a little bit on this glitter right here. And now I'm going to do my eyeliner off camera because I just 
I don't want to ruin my makeup today by doing it on camera and then having it turn out really bad. I'm going to be using the Jordana Fabuliner. I like just repurchased this after not using it for like a year and I'm really excited. So be right back. So that's my eyeliner and now I'm going to be taking the Urban Decay eyeliner in Perversion and I'm going to be putting that on my tight line just so that there's no like lash line showing you feel. Use the matching mascara to that eyeliner. I'm going to be using the Urban Decay Perversion Mascara on my upper and lower lashes. And there we go with the eyes. I like love this. I think it's so pretty. I'm going to be taking the Tardis Contour Palette. I got this for Christmas and I'm so excited. It smells so good. Like, it smells, wait, I don't know, it smells like chocolatey, but it's like, this is not Too Faced. I was very confused. First, I'm just going to take this color. This is the, one of them's three and one of them's four. I think it's four. The contour color. Oh! That was a lot more pigmented than I was expecting. Okay, I read reviews saying it's like not pigmented at all. Lies. My jaw. Gotta get rid of my double chin. Okay, and then I'm gonna bronze a little bit. I'm gonna use the lighter color to bronze. Okay, then my blush, I'm gonna use this color five accentuate is what it says. So <sighs> I'm gonna take a I'm gonna take this little stippling brush and put it on. It blends out really well. So that's that. And for my highlight, I'm gonna use the Becca Champagne Glow Palette. Whoa. Um, I'm gonna be using Pearl because, okay, wow. It's this white color, and I'm so happy they came out with the full size, even though not, like it'll probably take me a while to go through this little one. I'm like so excited, so pretty, and I have been so excited to try it. And this is my first time trying it, and I think it's amazing. I get into really weird positions when I highlight. Like I don't, I don't know why just happens. I'll go down my nose. Cupid's bow. Mm, look at that Cupid's bow. So bright. For my lip liner, I'm gonna take this Mary Kay one. Ooh, look how perfect that line is. I'm also filling it in like a little bit on the outer edges. Oh my gosh, I'm doing like halo lips. I'm using this MAC lipstick in Sunny Soul. It's a cream sheen and it like matches my eyes really well. So I like never use this, so I thought I would use it today. that is my final makeup so thank you guys for watching and let me know how you feel about this look only if you have good feelings towards it in the comments and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed let me know if you don't like me talking through my videos and you would like me to do voiceovers more um subscribe if you like me and if you aren't already and i'll see you guys next week bye